An S-Corp is a great way to save on taxes, but there are some tricky things you need to know about your owner's salary. Hi, I'm Sarah from Collective, the formation, tax, and accounting solution for self-employed people. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about something that's really important for any business owner with an S-Corp. What counts as reasonable salary? It's not as simple as it sounds, so I'm gonna break it all down for you and help you make the most out of your S-Corp. S-Corp owners are required to receive a reasonable salary that is comparable to what other employers would pay for similar services. If there's additional profit in the business, you can take those as distributions, which come with a lower tax bill. So what's the difference between distributions and a reasonable salary? Distributions are the profits that pass through the S-Corp to you as an owner, where the salary is the money you pay yourself as an employee of the S-Corp. You don't have to pay payroll taxes on the distribution from your S-Corp, but you do have to pay payroll taxes on your salary. To curb the temptation of taking all your gross receipts as distributions, the IRS sets a basic guideline. You have to pay yourself a reasonable salary. Evading taxes by disguising your salary as distributions could get you some serious penalties or even a back bill if the IRS recharacterizes your S-Corp income as salary. But what is a reasonable salary for an S-Corp? Generally, it's the amount that similar enterprises would pay for the same or similar services. You can find the stats about employee pay through sources like the Bureau of Labor Statistics and employer review sites. Small business owners usually perform multiple jobs and your salary should reflect the job you spend most of your time doing. Other factors to think about when determining your reasonable salary are things like training and experience, duties and responsibilities, time and effort devoted to the business, your history, taking distributions and payments to any non-shareholders. It's important to make adjustments to figure out your ideal S-Corp salary. You might adjust the salary downward if your business is less profitable than other similar businesses in your area, you work part-time, or you can attribute the success of your business to factors other than your personal efforts. Once you decide your employee compensation, document how you arrived and keep copies of the salary stats you used to set your salary. So what about the S-Corp 60-40 rule? This is a commonly touted strategy to split revenue between your salary and distributions. 60% is your salary, 40% is distributions. The problem with this type of rule is that the salary you end up with is arbitrary and may not pass muster with the IRS. You could end up paying more in taxes than is necessary or risk penalties for lowballing your pay. Instead of following a revenue-based strategy, calculate your salary based on your unique factors and circumstances. I hope this video helped you understand the ins and outs of setting your S-Corp's reasonable salary. If you need more help setting up and managing your S-Corp, go to collective.com and learn how we can help you with your business formation, taxes, accounting, and bookkeeping. And if you've enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe below, and be sure to check out the additional resources linked in the description. Thanks for watching.